Hurricane Helene made landfall Thursday in northwestern Florida as a Category 4 storm as forecasters warned of catastrophic flooding along the Gulf Coast. The National Hurricane Center in Miami said Helene roared ashore around 11.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time near the Perry, Florida, in the Big Bend area of the state's Gulf Coast. It had maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. Officials have forecast storm surges of up to 20 feet and warned they could be particularly catastrophic and unsurvivable in Florida's Apalachee Bay. Hurricane warnings and flash flood warnings extended far beyond the coast up into northern Georgia and western North Carolina. The storm knocked out power to over 1 million homes and businesses in Florida and over 50,000 in Georgia as it approached and came ashore, according to the tracking site poweroutage.us. Authorities in Georgia reported two people killed in a possible tornado in South Georgia as the storm approached, and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said one person died while driving on Interstate 4 when a sign fell onto their car. Well, good evening. We're here at the State Emergency Operations Center providing an update on Hurricane Helene. It is currently making landfall in Taylor County uh, in the Big Bend section of Florida, Deco Beach. Uh, it is a Category 4 storm with maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. It is moving north northeast, northeast at 24 mile per hour. Hurricane force winds are extending up to 60 miles from the center of the storm and tropical storm force winds are extending 300 miles from the center of the storm. We have had a report of, of a fatality on the roadway, uh, car driving um, on I-4 near Ybor City in Tampa uh, was uh, hit when a sign fell uh, onto, onto the highway. So that just shows you that it's very dangerous conditions out there. Uh, you need to be right now uh, just hunkering down. Now is not the time to be going out. Not only are we seeing it hit landfall here in northern Florida, uh, you're still seeing uh, surge in water rising in, in parts of Florida far south from the Big Bend area. So you look at southwest Florida, you look at the Tampa Bay area, uh, you're seeing really significant amounts of surge Hurricane Helene, has, is, as the governor mentioned, is currently making landfall in the Big Bend area of Florida. Uh, please shelter in place, as the governor has said. Stay indoors. Uh, again, I like his analogy of treat this like a tornado right now. Again, uh, those individuals along Deckel Beach, um, maybe even as, uh, as close as Steenhatchee, you're probably seeing very, very clear skies right now. That's because you're in the eye of the hurricane. If you can hear us and you have power, please do not go outside. That eye wall is going to close on the back side momentarily, probably within the next 15 to 30 minutes um, as it continues to make landfall. So please stay indoors. Roads are dangerous due to the flooding, debris, potential down lines. Do not risk it. We have numerous roads uh, that FHP and uh, DOT are responding to now that are underwater. Russia and China continue their joint naval military exercise in the Sea of Okhotsk. The joint Russian-Chinese naval exercise Bibu slash Interaction 2024 began Saturday in the Sea of Japan and included anti-aircraft and anti-submarine operations. A joint detachment of warships from the Pacific Fleet and the Chinese Navy practiced maneuvering, building a marching order, air defense tasks, and the protection and defense of the detachment while moored in an unprotected roadstead, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement. 
Russian large anti-submarine destroyers Admiral Pantelyev and Admiral Tribets as well as Corvettes MPK-82 and MPK-107 were among the warships taking part in the drills, Interfax reported. China was represented by the destroyers Xining and Wuxi, the frigate Lini, and the integrated supply ship Taihu, the agency added.